And what's up guys, welcome back to Let's Play Destiny Blind. I'm Shadow Dragonic. And again, an update. As you can see, my light is up to 306. And now I have a legendary of every weapon, at least. Um, I also picked up this bad boy, Red Death. I got that from Xur, uh, using my strange coins. And I must say, for a pulse rifle, it is a freaking beast. Um, this is the most important thing that it has, which is the red death ability. Each kill heals you and speeds up reloads. You don't realize how freaking useful that is in, like, dire situations. Now, the only thing I don't like is the fact that it's not a full auto. But that can be kind of looked, you know, past. You can look past that not that big of a deal because that healing ability alone is amazing um, on top of that we still have of course our auto rifle which is still a freaking beast and I just recently picked up using my legendary marks now it cost me 150 of them which was pretty much all of them except eight uh, I picked up angels advocate and I haven't actually used it yet but I used modes of light to uh, max it out but look at this we got uh, the OEG rifle scope. Uh, we have Outlaw, which precision kills with this weapon. Dramatically increased reload speed, which is really useful. We have Explosive Rounds. Volatile payload explodes on impact, dealing a portion of the weapon's damage in an area, which is awesome. And then Reactive Reload. Reloading this weapon after a kill grants bonus damage for a short time. So this thing is going to be a freaking beast. And this is what I've wanted for so long, was... A legendary scout rifle and being able to purchase this one from um, the Vanguard is awesome so I'm definitely gonna be using that bad boy on whatever we decide to do next um, as well as that I recently got this which is the next big thing which is a legendary shotgun and I haven't done anything with this yet it seems decent um, I'm not really a big shotgun user in this game. Not for, you know, campaign stuff. Maybe for uh, Crucible stuff or, you know, PvP. I might use a shotgun. But as far as, you know, regular campaign missions go and stuff, I just, I haven't really used them. Uh, it seems like a decent weapon, though. And I think I had the, the Havoc Pigeon before as well. Maybe not, but I'll show you guys anyway. Um, legendary Sidearm. Which is pretty cool, it's got a silencer, which is awesome. But, uh, that seems decent as well, I guess. Um, I upgraded my body armor. I also got these. I got these from, um, I got the Spectre Grasps, which as you can see, they have that, that cool red glow. That's because they have, um, you know, the active chroma. And I got these from doing... This right here, the Prison of Elders, which is, um... It's almost, I don't want to say it's a time trial, but you, you know, it's, you have a fire team of three players, and you basically go through and you do four... Four, um... I'm gonna, well, they're not time trials because they're not really timed, but, um... You know... They're almost like endurance rounds. You go through four endurance rounds, and then you take on a boss. And then uh, afterwards, you know, you get rewarded with prizes and stuff. You get legendary marks and uh, bonuses. And I got a... Oh, my God. What is it called now? One of those, uh, like, caches or caches. And uh, I got the gauntlets in that, which are pretty cool. They're part of a, a set. So yeah, as for what we're doing in this episode, I haven't really decided yet because we have a lot of stuff that we could actually do. Um, you know, a lot of stuff has opened up to me and, uh, you know, we could do strikes. We could do regular missions because I do have plain, plain quests like this one. Pretender to the Throne, which is single player. Uh, I did a lot of patrols on the Dreadnought as well, off-screen. Uh, that's a strike, the Sunless Cell. 
for whatever reason, I don't know, I'm not sure why that's uh, showing as a, a quest area, because I've already done, I've already done it once. Maybe it goes away after the weekly bonus goes away, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I mean, we have, you know, we can do the stuff for the Vanguard, which is basically just random strikes. Uh, we also have two more quests, which are single-player quests on Earth, Old Russia Earth, which are both hard. I don't know why, because that one says recommended light of 260. I have over 300, so it shouldn't be that hard. Um, I think we'll go ahead and do this one, though. We'll do the Pretender to the Throne. I just want to try out this freaking scout rifle. We'll see how how decent it is. It'll be a little rough going back to a scout rifle after using, you know, fully automatic and pulse weapons, but... Oryx is dead. Taken. Unleashed. Many seek to claim the throne. I thought that killing Oryx would have ended the threat. Instead, we created a power vacuum. A power vacuum? Well, maybe they'll kill each other and we won't have to worry about it. Taken power strong here. New leader rises. He hungers for Oryx's power. One Taken King was enough, thank you. Alright, so no enemies as of yet. Alright, here we go. Respawn is our cautious hiding. I don't think it will be a problem. Yeah, I don't think it'll be a problem either. Wow, I am loving those explosive rounds. They will be great for freaking crowd control. Here we go. No sign of a new Taken Prince yet. A Taken Prince, huh? Malak, capture him, Guardian. Capture him? Bring him to Prison of Elders. You want him alive? Whatever happened to him? Kill them back. And how does one... How does one expect me to capture a Taken? God, I can't see a thing.
He's getting away. <laughs> the lock delays judgment. Cannot escape it. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming because I don't have my freaking red death equipped. <clears throat> So I do like the Angel's Advocate, however, for this situation, we're going to the Red Death. Too many enemies to be trying to freaking... Here we go. A new taken prince yet. He is close. Malak, capture him, guardian. Bring him to prison of elders. You want him alive? Whatever happened to kill them back? I'm not sure what, what significance uh, destroying those things has, but... Okay, we definitely need some... Definitely need some, uh... Assault rifle ammo and shit. He's getting away! <laughs> the lock delays judgment. Cannot escape it. To Taken will hold his echo. Drop any ammo. It and find Malak. All right. Well, that was a pretty quick freaking mission. Could really use some assault rifle ammo. Alright, so let's get rid of uh, the garbage.
All right, so where to now? Um, I don't know, I guess we go to Earth. Going to Earth with no ammunition. None whatsoever. Oryx is dead. Nice work on that. But the Taken are all wormed down into the cracks of the Cosmodrome. We think a coven of wizards is running the show over there. You're going to shut them down. All right. Sounds easy enough. Though they usually do. Kate, I'm having trouble getting a bead on those wizards. Thought you might. My scouts have marked lights all over the Cosmo. They're pumping out darkness like a spigot. Cut off the flow, Guardian. Cleanse the place and you should be able to find the wizards. Alrighty. Tortured Centurion. There you go. Show me your freaking face. Snipers need to go. Echo of Mala. Nice try, Mr. Sniper. Out of ammo. Awesome. What in God's name? Alright, so now that they're not constantly spawning in... Alright, we're heading that way.
Not sure what significance these things have. As far as collecting them. That's a lot of shit to pick up. Darkness. It's smothering. We've got wizards. Alrighty, well, bring them on. So, not quite sure what the deal is with these. There you are. That should be the end of you. We're getting good reports from all across the Cosmo, Guardian. Taken abandoning the fight or getting sucked back to who knows where. This one goes in the wind book. Nice, so I got Come on back 20 now. legendary marks out of that. So I can get them back. I think the next thing I'll spend legendary marks on is probably a ghost upgrade. Because I could desperately I'm in desperate need of a, a ghost upgrade. I think it's the only the only legendary thing I don't have. And that would be a uh plus one hundred and three to my defense. Oh, right, I got that freaking bounty to hand in, too. All right, get rid of that. That... Alright, so what can we do now? We have one more on Earth. Investigate, investigate Vault RAS-2. Investigate the source of the strange signal. Alright, we'll do this one. Might as well get one more quest in here since, you know, the first one that I did was really short. That one wasn't that long, so...
Plus, we're already here on Old Russia Earth. Alright, where are we going? The first firewall. Uh, looks like we're going back into um, Rasputin's bunker. Yeehaw, back into... wait. Yeah, that's right. Back into Rasputin's bunker. Approach the interference. Respawn restricted. Probably once we're through these doors. Yeah. Heading back this way this time. All right. Seems a little too quiet. Too quiet for comfort. Really? You're gonna lock me in here? Great. God, those Ascendant Knights are resistant to, like, everything. I might be in trouble here. Oh my god, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this one. It's just not working out in my favor. Um, let's try it with this bad boy.
Oh god, it sneezed. What a horrible time to sneeze. No more. Awesome. I'm Oh, thank you. Okay, that was nice enough to drop me some ammo. <laughs> Why are they being so mean to me? That fire is really irritating. No more. Alright, head to higher ground. Higher ground. Horrible, horrible, horrible. primary ammunition. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Okay. 
I was not expecting that. Although thankfully he went down pretty freaking quick. Please disappear everybody else. Everybody else. Thank you. Oh my god. Curious transceiver, huh? Well, that probably could have gone a hell of a lot better than it did, but we managed. Right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back, I'm going to get these Ingrams looked at, and I'll do that off screen. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode or previous episodes, please give it a like. If you guys enjoyed my Let's Plays, please don't hesitate to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Destiny Blind. But until then, guys, later.